let me start with what seems irrelevant, but I was reading an interview by Don DeLilio, a novelist from the 1980s, and he was talking about how when he writes a novel, it's not just information. It's not just something you can summarize and swallow up and consume. And he mentioned how much films affected his writing. And that's what this is. This is not a film you can just summarize and say, hey, good or bad, take it or leave it. It is not meant to be consumed. You have to really think through it and reflect on it. Overall, I will recommend Bo, but I can't say it's a good film. Saying it's a bad film is also dishonest. It's a very difficult thing to judge. I think it worked more than it didn't work, but I will say that aside from a few great scenes, yeah, this is not boring, but it's a frustrating experience. So what is Bo? Well, I, I think even trying to get into the plot is a little distortive. It is not as radically experimental, I think, as Ari is making it out to be, but it's not totally incohesive or absurd or completely, you can't make out anything that's happening as much as critics say. There are some people saying this is the worst film of all time. No, it's a solid film, but I think the horror is strong when it's strong, but it's unable to sustain itself. And the comedy is there. It is very, very funny in long stretches. But then there are long stretches. Yeah, it's amusing, but the joke is kind of tired. And I got, I think, the point of a lot of scenes very quickly. I did enjoy myself, so the time itself wasn't a big issue for me. I just felt that Ari definitely has a his individual sense of humor. We'll, we'll say that. And I don't find it offensive for the most part. But beyond a certain point, it's definitely not for me. I would say... If I have to judge this, this is slightly better than Midsommar. I think this is his best film to date, but it's still very, very weak in too many ways for me to recommend without qualification. I guess the best way I put it is, I'm definitely going to pay for this on DVD. I'm going to pay a fair price. I do think we should support A24 and Ari, but honestly, I would rather watch Midsommar, even the extended version, than this again. But this is a lot better than Hereditary, where that I thought was just a bunch of fancy tricks that didn't go anywhere, and it was very, very silly and stupid beyond a certain point. This one, I think he's trying to play it straight. I found many things very hilarious. It has tons of great performances. There are so many people in this. It is incredible how many people we fit in. We've got people from Dune, some very, very famous stage actors, some cameos that have not been spoiled. It's very filled to the brim with interesting performances. And the set designs and the cinematography, these are all very sharp. Even the editing. People complain about the pacing. I think the pacing was fine. And it does make sense when you get towards the end in terms of this explosive big twist ending. But I felt sort of empty at the end of it. And it's really weird because I have a lot of issues going on with my life. So I should have connected a lot more with the film. I did connect in a few ways, but perhaps not as much as I think Ari wanted me to. I think it is a success, but it's a mild success. So I will recommend Bo is Afraid, but come in with moderate expectations. Maybe this will be life-changing for you. I am exposed to European and Chinese cinema. I study cinema seriously, so I know films like this. I guess the best comparison is Eyes Wide Shut. And Eyes Wide Shut is a lot, lot better, but I found Eyes Wide Shut very boring and stupid when I first saw it. But over the years, I've definitely appreciated it a lot more. So... If you are able to open your mind up to Kubrickian cinema or European cinema or cinema that is very ironic and isn't there to just give you a plot or characters, this is a film operating at a very different level than that, then this may work out for you. But yeah, come in with not high expectations that everything here will be great. Um, I think some great things happened, but a lot of it was very muddled or confused and I think yes yeah, some of that is intentional but some of that is just he is being self-indulgent but this is his work of art and whatever you want to say about this, this is very artistic and I guess we'll leave it there so I will recommend Bo but be warned uh, yeah a huge chunk of this may be just very hard to swallow or even care about